In this video, we'll report on the weird situation happening on Venus. We'll talk about a strange phenomenon occurring, its tectonics and the future of our planet. Scientists say that if there was ever a planet that had a chance of being similar to Earth in our solar system, it would have been Venus. This is why it is largely regarded as Earth's twin. But why is it then that Venus has a hellish landscape while Earth teems with life? What events transpired that changed the fate of Venus so drastically? Could the state of Venus today be a window into the future of our own planet? The Phenomenon of Venus There's an unusual phenomenon occurring on Venus, which we consider the most Earth-like planet in our solar system. While we might expect it to be familiar, the reality is that Venus is remarkably strange, and our understanding of its true nature remains limited. It raises questions about whether Venus provides a glimpse into the potential future for all planets, a nightmarish end. Alternatively, could Venus be a reflection of our past, resembling a time when Earth was a youthful, hot, and volcanic wasteland? The true secrets of Venus lie beneath its surface and above its clouds, waiting to be unveiled. Venus and Earth share several striking similarities, comparable size, mass, and rocky composition. Both planets orbit the Sun at a relatively similar distance. However, one intriguing parallel between them is the presence of a youthful and rejuvenated surface. To understand this concept, consider the surfaces of other celestial bodies like Mars, Mercury, or Earth's Moon, which display a dense array of impact craters. These craters are remnants of asteroid impacts dating back billions of years when the solar system was filled with rocky remnants from planet and moon formation. Earth, too, experienced this ancient bombardment, which should have left our surface heavily cratered, akin to the moon. Yet continuous rejuvenation, driven by plate tectonics, has prevented this outcome. Earth's surface undergoes a perpetual cycle, with mass recycled from the surface into the mantle, creating new land through volcanic eruptions. On Venus, a similar story seems to unfold. The ancient battle scars of impact craters have seemingly vanished, presenting a Venusian surface estimated to be between 300 million and 1 billion years old. We do know life is very resourceful, and there is one place on Venus that could host life. However, the mystery lies in the absence of plate tectonics on Venus. Unlike Earth, Venus lacks the continuous recycling of its surface through plate movements. Instead, it features a stagnant lid of rock encasing the entire globe. The question remains, how has the entire planet undergone resurfacing in such a relatively brief span without the mechanism of plate tectonics? Venus's tectonics. Even on the cosmic scale, a billion years is relatively young. Interestingly, volcanic activity doesn't necessarily require tectonic plates, and this is how we discern that Venus possesses a stagnant lid for a surface. On Earth, active volcanoes are concentrated along the borders between tectonic plates. In contrast, Venus exhibits thousands of volcanoes spread out randomly across its surface, suggesting that volcanoes can emerge anywhere with thin surface crust, and their formation isn't driven by physical movement. While evidence supports ongoing volcanic activity on Venus, it doesn't entirely elucidate the resurfacing event. Planets with a stagnant lid, like Venus, generally experience lower overall volcanic activity compared to those with tectonic plates. On Earth, Volcanoes dynamically sweep across the surface over millions of years, reshaping the land. Conversely, on a planet like Mars, volcanoes remain stationary for extended periods, slowly erupting to form colossal mountains like Olympus Mons, the solar system's highest peak. Surprisingly, despite having a stagnant lid, Venus differs from Mars. While Venus does boast a few tall mountains, its overall surface is more akin to Earth than Mars. This leaves us pondering the mysterious events that transpired on Venus, challenging our understanding of planetary evolution. A compelling theory regarding Venus's resurfacing suggests a sudden and explosive global cataclysmic event. The stagnant lid on Venus likely traps substantial pressure beneath the surface, and given its proximity to the Sun, significant thermal energy could accumulate over hundreds of millions of years. Eventually, this pressure might reach a critical point leading to a catastrophic global volcanic eruption. Volcanoes could be very important in the origin of life because they release energy into a very concentrated spot. 
If Venus experienced such an event within the past billion years, it could account for its current state. Following the eruption, the planet would cool down, presenting a freshly resurfaced globe. Regrettably, this cataclysmic event would have obliterated any surface evidence of Venus's ancient past. In contrast, when examining Mars, we can infer a time when liquid water flowed over its surface, forming ancient rivers, lakes, and oceans. If a relatively small and cold planet like Mars could support life's prerequisites, it's plausible that Venus might have harbored similar conditions. To find evidence, we must shift our focus upward. Venus's atmosphere is known for its extreme hostility, driven by a runaway greenhouse effect. However, the origins of this inhospitable atmosphere remain unclear. The surface pressure on Venus is a staggering 92 bars, making the air 92 times denser than Earth's surface. The Earth's atmosphere is predominantly composed of nitrogen, a ubiquitous element in the known universe, constituting approximately 78% of the air. Oxygen makes up around 21%, while the remaining 1% is primarily the inert noble gas argon. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and ozone occupy a mere zero, 4% of Earth's atmosphere. Interestingly, Venus shares a similar mass of nitrogen in its atmosphere as Earth does, and there are even trace amounts of molecular oxygen. However, the overwhelming majority of Venus's atmosphere is an incomprehensible amount of carbon dioxide, surpassing 96% of the total composition. At a density of 92 bars, this signifies an immense quantity of carbon dioxide. The Earth manages its carbon dioxide through a natural cycle. CO2 is absorbed by plants, which, upon death, fossilize. Plate tectonics then pulls these fossils deep into the mantle. However, on Venus, the situation differs. It's improbable that Venus accumulated an excessive amount of CO2 that Earth lacks. Initially, both Venus and Earth likely started as nearly identical molten rocks with similar chemical compositions. Therefore, some natural force must have transported the excess carbon from Venus's interior to the exterior, triggering a runaway greenhouse effect that has elevated the planet's surface temperature to extreme levels. The profound changes in Venus's atmosphere particularly the overwhelming presence of carbon dioxide, could be a consequence of a planet-wide cataclysmic event. This suggests that Venus may not have maintained its current state for an extended period. Despite being only around 30% closer to the Sun than Earth, the excess atmosphere on Venus plays a crucial role in elevating its average surface temperature to extreme levels. Removing this excess atmosphere would result in a still hot, yet comparatively moderate surface temperature of around 70 degrees Celsius, closer to Earth-like conditions than anywhere else in the solar system. The future of our planet. It's plausible that Venus once had atmospheric conditions similar to Earth, potentially featuring large amounts of liquid water. Although geological evidence of flowing water has vanished from Venus's surface, chemical evidence persists in the form of deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen. Deuterium, with a proton and a neutron in its nucleus, has a heavier atomic weight than typical hydrogen. On Earth, there's approximately one deuterium isotope for every 6,420 atoms of hydrogen. In contrast, Venus displays a significantly higher concentration of deuterium, indicating a substantial hydrogen loss into space. This is a crucial indicator of a water boil-off event, where the water turned into steam, and the lighter hydrogen atoms floated into the atmosphere, carried away by the solar wind, while the heavier deuterium atoms remained trapped. In essence, examining Venus provides insights into a potential future scenario for Earth, where catastrophic events might alter our atmosphere and shape the planetary conditions we observe. Mars is often cited as an example of a dead planet due to its ceased geological activity, dissipated atmosphere, and freezing average surface temperature. However, this state is more akin to a planetary coma. True death is yet to come. Our Earth orbits a colossal nuclear fusion reactor, the Sun, that gradually intensifies until the depletion of its hydrogen fuel. While the Sun won't explode, it will expand into a red giant, eject its corona, and collapse into a white dwarf, leaving behind a nebula of our solar system's remnants. In the grand scheme, everything burns in the end. Despite this nihilistic outlook, Earth's future evolution suggests it will eventually resemble Venus over billions of years. 
To reverse engineer this process, water boil off likely precedes significant changes. Earth's magnetic field, crucial for retaining the atmosphere, is finite. It remains uncertain if Venus ever had a magnetosphere, possibly explaining its comparatively short lifespan. The loss of a magnetic field allows the atmosphere to thin, permitting hydrogen to escape. Lower atmospheric pressure combined with a hotter sun accelerates water evaporation, hindering recondensation into rain. This lack of water results in a dry, rigid earth, likely ending plate tectonics and causing the outer crust to solidify into a stagnant lid. Thermal energy accumulates beneath this sealed crust until volcanic activity engulfs the entire surface, releasing copious amounts of heavy carbon gas into the atmosphere. Dense clouds form, enveloping the planet. In this future scenario, Earth, 5 billion years from now, would bear a striking resemblance to present-day Venus. Understanding the reverse-engineered demise of Venus may offer insights into averting the fate of not only our own planet, but also all of the life that calls it home. What do you think? Could the Earth be heading towards a similar cataclysm that occurred on Venus? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.